The Malaya City Council is encouraging rich payers to settle their bills in foreign currency instead of being fleeced by money changers who mill outside townhouse. The city says that this is depriving it of the much needed forex. This came out when the legal authority proposed a standstill 264 million US dollars gender responsive budget for next year. Bulawayo will stop at nothing to recover the $217 billion it is owed. City fathers claim domestic debtors owe them the biggest chunk. But a multi-currency billing regime will be maintained, they say. The 2024 budget will maintain the US dollar tariffs at the last year's slave rules. Monthly bills will continue to be based on the US dollar tariffs and translated to local currencies at the time of billing. Number three, payment of bills will continue to be in all currencies tradable in our country. Number four, residents and stakeholders are encouraged to pay their dues in order to realize the targets set out in this budget. Finance and Development Committee Chairperson Councillor Mpumelelo Moyo during the 2024 budget presentation promised improved service delivery going forward. Early this month, close to 60% of schools in Bulawayo almost had water disconnected as the city tried recovering what it was owed. Key among the issues raised include the need to predictably, predictability and stability in tariffs, providing conducive environment to do business, providing decent vending structures, prioritization of enforcement in regulations, decisively rectifying the proliferation of illegal activities in the city, ensuring the cleanness of the city, social services delivery, provision of social infrastructure to protect the vulnerable in the community, care for the people with disabilities, and environmental protection programs. On Ospateleni, the city fathers had no kind words. The menacing money changers now reside outside townhouse soliciting for foreign currency from rate payers. The city fathers are literally pleading for their share. We also need to discourage those that are, are scrounging for our residents who are paying foreign currency at the city council walls where they sit outside with their ATM cards and asking people to pay, to, to give them their US dollars and pay and swipe for them in, 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 in bond. Uh, this budget is largely, largely requires American dollars because if not all, maybe 95% of the services in city council are paid for in US dollars. I want to implore all of us in Bulawayo to take responsibility and put our mouths where our monies are and ensure that we support Bulawayo City Council by discouraging all forms of taking away the hard end US dollar that our rate payers want to contribute <coughs> to the council. The capital budget is proposed at 96 million US dollars, an 8% reduction from the current 2023 budget. However, Funding for the year 2024 projects will be sourced from borrowing, revenue contributions, Zenara funding, devolution funds and anticipated donations. In comparison, the 2023 budget was set at 69.6 billion Zimbabwean dollars and a recurrent budget was at 103 billion Zimbabwean dollars. As at 30 September, 2023, the council had utilized 14% of the capital budget of 69.6 billion Zimbabwean dollars. Reporting for ZTN Prime, I'm Shalom